Should we go after people that are smuggling guns and smuggling drugs and smuggling children? Oh my goodness, yes. Final thing is this. The poorest southern border allows immoral behavior to continue. Evil behavior. Children that get smuggled across the southern border. Opioids, heroin, guns. MS-13 runs the entire southern border. This is why they fight so hard against the construction of a southern border wall. 95% of Border Patrol agents, half of which are Hispanic, by the way. The Border Patrol agents always get such a bad rap, but half of them are Hispanic. 95% of Border Patrol agents say a wall would help them better do their job to confiscate drugs and intercept children that might be in the midst of child sex trafficking. So Charlie Kane decided to take his time to explain to us the dangers of an open um, border. And of course, there are a lot of audience and I believe that um, all of them, in a sense, tend to learn from some of the lessons um, Charlie Kirk, in a sense, gave at the course of it. So without any further ado, let's get down to this video and check this out. With the whole immigrant thing, you said that, you know, we come at one of the, at some point you said, oh, you come and you work hard. How about we work hard? And it's a guarantee. You used guarantee. That was the exact phrase you used that we can get somewhere. If but, you do four things, but go ahead. I should but addition. the whole like some of the immigrants yeah they may be illegal but they do work really hard to come here and provide a life for their kids and then they get snatched away and their nine-year-old little girl is just sitting there crying and bawling her eyes out why her mom can't be with her after her mom just tried really hard to work really hard for her life okay so a couple things if you break the law to get into america you're putting your kid's life in jeopardy too we, we have immigration laws. We have not enforced them. Justice is blind. Justice can be something that must be equally interpreted. When that beautiful statue of Lady Justice, she has a cloth over her, over her eyes because justice is supposed to be blind. I'll, you know what happens for a legal immigrant? Let's say a legal immigrant from Indonesia. Mm -hmm. If they want to come to America, they have to prove to the embassy in America that they have not committed a crime for two years. If they get sometimes a speeding ticket equivalent in Indonesia or in Korea, their visa will be yanked almost instantaneously. So we have a double standard immigration system. One, where the rest of the world has to operate with a clean bill of health criminally, that they can't break any laws in their home country and they can't break any laws here because they might be subject to deportation or not coming into the country. Then we have a whole different set of laws if you jump across the border. That's not fair and it's not sustainable because what now ends up happening is you have anywhere between 15 to 21 million people, could be even more than that, where they're living in the shadows. And that's not a good thing. I don't want that to happen. I mean, if, if, if I had my way, I would say, yeah, of course, I, I would love to have as many people in this country as possible. But it also severely disenfranchises the 180 other countries across the world that equally want to be here just as much, that are not within economic prox proximity there. Um, so I understand the question. The other thing is this. There is not, there is isolated incidents of the United States government through ICE going after child sex traffickers, MS-13 members, but there is not mass deportations happening in this country right now. It's just not happening. Should we go after people that are smuggling guns and smuggling drugs and smuggling children? Oh my goodness, yes. Final thing is this. The poorest southern border allows immoral behavior to continue. Evil behavior. Children that get smuggled across the southern border. Opioids. Heroin guns. MS-13 runs the entire southern border. This is why they fight so hard against the construction of a southern border wall. 95% of Border Patrol agents, half of which are Hispanic, by the way. The Border Patrol agents always get such a bad rap, but half of them are Hispanic. 95% of Border Patrol agents say a wall would help them better do their job to confiscate drugs and intercept children that might be in the midst of child sex trafficking. So anyway, I appreciate the question. My, my stance on immigration is this. Legal immigrants, huge positive, huge surplus for this country. You even saw me defend having more immigrants come to yeah. America. Border jumping and line cutting, it's not who we are. It breaks the law and it should not be tolerated. So okay. thank I you like for your... Thank you. Did you have a follow-up really quick or... Make it quick because I want to get to as many questions as possible. So, I liked your, I liked your, uh, your answers, state answer. I just want to know, okay, so what would you do that make it more accessible for the ones that are trying to get here legally and it's not happening? So I think we should, we should have an unlimited amount of genius visas and unlimited amount of merit visas. So if you, have, if you are able to prove that you have a very specific skill and there are anywhere between 30 to 40 million people like this worldwide, I think you should be able to give them a chance to come into America. We have huge capacity in this country. 
massive amount of natural resources and usual land. And guess what? I get people in the conservative movement that push back against this. Charlie, we're full. I, 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 okay, I know this sounds silly. Fly from Chicago to Reno and tell me that we're full, okay? For three and a half hours. You know, there's massive amounts of land and huge development that we can have. I believe that the only limiting factor we have is saying that ideas will somehow run out. There, is, there are studies to show that a steady flow of immigrants keep a country on its toes. It keeps a country working hard and taking risks, and it keeps other people competing against them. I think that's a really healthy thing. Someone who believes so firmly in markets, I want people that always have new business ideas. I want people that are willing to disrupt the status quo. I want the next hungry entrepreneur from Cuba or Venezuela or for South Africa. That's, how we've, that's why we have 85 out of the most valuable, 85 out of 100 of the most valuable companies in the world. And so anyway, I, I would say to expand it, it should be much quicker to legally immigrate in this country and much easier. We've made it so hard. And the president of the United States says it correctly. We're going to have a very big wall with a big door. And I think we're going to get back to the door so we understand that legal immigration is a healthy backbone to this country that we must celebrate. So thank you for your question. I appreciate it. We got to get to the next one, Seth. Thank you. Hello. Uh, hi. Um, so this, just to start, I'm an independent, so I'm not like a liberal or anything. But, uh, <laughs> but um, so my grandparents, they came here in the 1940s, and um, they came here with like $40 in their pocket. Where did they come from? They came from Haiti. Awesome. Um, and they were able to build themselves up through real estate, and they were able to send all my aunts, uncles, and my mother to college, and now they're all in, graduated, and they're in their professions, and my mom became a doctor. So I'm pretty proud of like- That's the American immigration. dream. Yeah, Congratulations. That's, that's what we're talking about. And um, also, like, a lot of illegal immigrants account for, uh, like, farm farming work and factory work in America. And um, it's because a lot of people in America are unwilling to do that sort of labor. And um, if we curb illegal immigration, how would you propose to solve um, the possible amount of, like, under- Sure. So, performing jobs? seasonal work visas. It's that simple. Give seasonal work visas for people that are willing to do difficult agricultural work. So all the seasonal work visas, you get a temporary social security number, you pay tax, you pay payroll tax, you pay income tax. We know who you are. If you commit a crime, we know exactly that and we deport you immediately. Now we have no idea. We have no idea. It's not, it's, it, no one can possibly argue that that's a, that's a sustainable system for the country. So that's a very simple way. But in order for there to be seasonal visas, you have to have a restriction on people cutting in line. The restriction would be a wall. And that, that's, the, that's a key element to re redefine, not redefining, but restructuring our immigration system, which is so horribly and terribly broken. And I, I talk about a wall and people say, Charlie, why are you against immigration? I say, I literally have talked so much about the value of immigration. I'm against people that come here in defiance to our laws and come into the shadows and intentionally break United States immigration law. I think it's a disservice to people like your grandparents that came here in the 1940s from Haiti. That's what's best and most beautiful about this country is people that came here legally. And so when they came here legally, they were, they were registered in the system. They were able to pay taxes, buy a house, start a bank account. And now a couple generations later, would you say your life is better than their life was? Probably, right? And so you're the story of America. So when I talk about the guarantee of America, almost very few people in America, unless your grandfather was Andrew Carnegie or John D. Rockefeller, very few people have it worse today than your grandparents did. Very few people, unless it was some titan or something horrible happened, it's 99% of Americans have it better than your grandparents did. We have progressively been getting better and better. And there's, a re there's many reasons for that, but I appreciate the question. Seasonal visas would be the way that we fix it. So thank you. That's a very interesting one. Um, listening to Charlie Kirk breaking down, you understand, uh, the dangers of open border and people who comes to America. Um, illegally and of course when you look at the second young man that was narrating about his grandparent that came to america from haiti and then therefore living the american um dream you realize that at least you know, and they came in and then they were documented and at least they pay tax and that is what you know, and that has been expected of every you understand know, migrant that find himself or herself you understand know, in america but then those ones you understand know, who comes you understand know, illegally the dangers is of course they can commit you understand know, some kind of 
crime that maybe probably because they are not documented so how can you find them how can you know where they live how can you know where you can be able to like get them to be able to know if they should be prosecuted or not so that's the reason why they feels like in, a, in an open innocent border it brings in a, a lot of um, dangers to the economy and then looking at um the first one that the lady was talking about, you understand, the people, if some of them, you understand, who get there, there are a lot of works that some Americans, people, you understand, may neglect or may not like, you understand, to do. That is the reason why some of these um, illegal, you understand, migrants, you understand, can be able to do. But then, when you look at you know, the second thing that um, Charlie Kirk was talking about, you understand, you being skilled, it means that when you come, you seek for visa, from there, they are going to ask you, you understand, what you can do so that at least they will know that okay when this person is not come to america this is what this person innocent is going to do at least they understand the person innocent ability so that in case of anything at least they can come to that person as an aid or in case of innocent insecurity or something at least they can be able to like say okay this person come and then this is the skills the person is and half or what the person is going to contribute to the particular thing that he's coming to america to do but then if you just get there we don't know if the person is a jihadist or anything of that nature so so you see at the cost of that in a sense that can be able to bring in a sense problems and then that's the reason why i see donald trump keep talking about in a sense building in a sense the wall and then having in a sense a massive in a sense border control and then stuffs like that it's not that like because of he does not like people to migrate to us but all he's saying is that they should do it in a sense legally and how do you do it legally by you going to the embassy right go to the embassy apply for the visa depending on whatever in a sense that you are coming to do either you need in a, sense, a temporary one or you want to work in a sense like the one um charlie Kirk was talking about in a sense a seasonal in a sense visa probably be working in some, maybe in some of these agricultural stuffs and all that then after maybe you're done maybe probably you can return but then therefore if maybe probably you want to stay well that would depend with the immigration the national law or what is this if depending if the person decide that okay they have work and then they have done well can such a person in a sense be allowed in a sense to have a visa we do not do though he did not emphasize in a sense more on that but then i know that a lot of you can help me do so at the comment um sessions because that has actually in a sense been a lot of innocent problems or bring a lot of problems and then people in a sense need more clarification in a sense when it comes to some of these things i believe that in a sense a lot of you have told an opinion in a sense concerning um this because uh charlie Kirk is actually taking his time in a sense explaining in a sense some of these things in a sense to us and i hope that they are actually um beneficial to some of us so this is the end of my video if you like my reaction you like share and subscribe if you have any video you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out so you remain blessed and i see you in my next video bye bye